I used to be so afraid of wasps, hornets, and bees, and something happened a number of years ago. I started to watch them and to learn about them, and I find them very fascinating. While I was on a walk at Mass Audubon Broadmoor in Natick, I found this beautiful northern paper wasp on the observation deck. Common nicknames are golden paper wasp and dark paper wasp. They are found in eastern North America to the Midwest, southern Canada to Central America. They are three quarter inches long, dark brown with lighter brown or copper brown to yellow markings. Females have a reddish face. They have two pairs of membranous wings. They have a slender body with a distinct waist that connects the thorax to the abdomen. They are not as common as they once were due to a European paper wasps taking over their habitat. Habitats of woodlands and savannas. They'll nest on homes, barns, sheds, fences, wood piles, scrap wood piles, landscape, and tree branches. They are social wasps that are part of a complex society based on a single queen. They rely on each other for food, shelter and protection. They build open gray papery nests out of wood and paper. They chew and mix up the wood and paper with saliva which forms a paste that helps to form the nest. They will become aggressive towards outsiders and will attack to protect their nests. Paper wasps are capable of face recognition to help them identify potential threats and to maintain social order within the colony. Paper wasps are considered beneficial insects as they feed on nectar and pollen and control pest insect population by feeding them to the larva. They frequent goldenrod and help pollinate other plants. They are a stinging wasp. Only the female stings and she can sting multiple times. Life cycle egg, larvae, pupa, and adult. Life spans about one year. Queens lay fertilized eggs into individual cells in the nest. Larvae from eggs laid in the summer are well fed with abundance of food. Eggs hatch before fall. The offsprings hibernate during the fall and winter. New queens emerge in the spring and begin to nest and lay eggs. By fall, after laying eggs, they will develop develop into new queens and these queens will die along with the worker bees and males. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble, always be kind. Thanks for watching. <laughs>